I was raised on clay. My first ever tennis lesson was on clay and um, watching Roland Garros when I was a little girl. It was definitely my first connection with tennis. You know, seeing Steffi Graf, Monica Sellers, Arancha Sanchez, you know, to me was like a, like a dream come true. I remember um, when I was a little bit older, Philippe de Wolf. He uh, made it to the semi-final and I remember how the whole country was cheering for him and, and um, those moments have an impact, you know, as a child when you're playing tennis and you wish and you hope one day you dream to be in this situation. I turned 18 during that Roland Garros, so for me, I was still a teenager. Everything was new, and um, I remember just being, in, you know, winning and, and thinking, like, oh my God, like, I'm in a Grand Slam semi-final. When I got to play against Justine, it was an amazing story, just because, you know, we were this tall when we started playing you know, together and traveling to tournaments together and, and then, you know, we're standing here in one of the biggest arenas in the world in tennis. We grew up playing juniors together, traveling to Japan together, playing in France, Le Petit and, and just playing all these tournaments and, you know, sharing the room, me trying to learn a little bit of French and, and teaching her a little bit of Flemish and just being kids in a tennis world. So, you know, for us to be in that situation was, was very unique. She had a, a bad time in her life when her mother passed away and, you know, we were always there in those moments and, and always together and, you know, just your question about Flemish and, and you know, Walloon, like we didn't think like that. You know, we were from Belgium and that was more created from the media. It was incredible. Uh, obviously that match, you know, I won, but there have been more matches, you know, that I lost to, against her here in, in big moments. That was obviously for me, I think, a big change in my career where, you know, I, I won that semi-final, made my first final, and um, that's when kind of international tennis world knew who I was and uh, everything changed in my life. <laughs> I just turned 18 the day before the final and it was, um, yeah, really, really special moment. Everything was quiet. Um, the locker room is empty and then you realize like we are the last two and this is it and then I remember being so nervous going up the stairs and, and waiting before they call your name to walk out there it's a very special walk at times I really had to tell myself okay don't worry don't think about the big stadium all the people the Grand Slam final and just focus on you know trying to play good tennis and what you have to do to try and beat uh, Jennifer Capriati. Magnifique. I would have loved to have won it. I tried everything that I could to win it, but it would have been too early to win a Grand Slam already then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Non. Coup droit. Le break est fait. 11-10. I was too young and okay, I was disappointed when I lost, but I was like, let's go. I'm, I want to go. I want to keep playing. I want to go to Wimbledon and I want to play the US Open and I want to be back in Paris, you know, the next year and, and try to do it again. And um, so I think my age was a little bit of a disadvantage, but also a big advantage after losing that final to, to just stay a kid and, and love tennis and work hard. And, and it was all a new, new life for me after that. So um, I think that was the, the big thing for me that, that motivated me even more to, to be a better tennis player. When I played on hard courts, I felt more like my game was improving. Um, on clay, it was sometimes harder. Tennis is mental. It, it's a mental game. And, and I knew it was going to be very hard to beat her, but I knew that I could. Um, but I knew that you know, on this surface, it was going to be my smallest chance to win, but I knew that I could do it. You know, I knew that physically I was just as good as her. She had, you know, maybe a little bit more variety in her game, but, you know, I had a little bit more power and, and, and I felt like if I could play my best tennis, I had a, I had a good chance to win. But I feel like I didn't play my best tennis. And that's frustrating. <laughs> and that was also nerves and, you know, just not feeling really, really 100% good out there. And, and, but that's, that's a part of it. You know, Justine played, played some really good tennis and, and um, you know, that's you know, obviously why she won. I was a lot more disappointed after that match than, than after um, losing to Capriati. Although it was 12-10 and I was a lot closer to winning, but yeah, it was it was frustrating. Uh, and then you need a few more days to, to get you know the switch in your head and, and to go back to the practice court and to the gym and to train harder and fitter and, and to hopefully give yourself another opportunity to get into the semi-final or a final and create that moment so you can try again to compete for a win.